You're so on the edge going over the climb and in a period of you know one minute you go from going flat out, uphill, just focused on your effort, to all of a sudden it becomes a lot less about the physical effort part and a lot more about the skill and that's when it kind of becomes evident as to who, who has the natural ability to go downhill and, and who doesn't. Trying to keep yourself centered and stable while you know getting as arrow as possible. So you're trying to provide yourself with, with a little bit of stability, holding either the drops or the, the tops of the bars and making yourself as narrow as possible and as low as possible. I mean the times when you're sitting on the top tube, I prefer to have my hands out in the drops for a little bit more stability, putting your head down towards the bars than uh, just trying to get your arms and elbows in and, and yeah, go as fast as possible. Weighting is also extremely important. Generally, you know, all the weights on your outside foot, uh, as far as your legs go, you're pushing down hard with your inside hand, so you're counterbalancing, counterweighting the bike, uh, trying to keep things as stable as possible. In the dry, you can lean the bike a little bit more if you really want to take the, the corner aggressively. The service of the road plays a, a huge role in, in judging how fast you can take corners, how fast you're going to be going downhill. Traditionally, you're looking for the apex of the corner, you're looking for the, you know, the straightest line through a corner, the least amount of braking. Say it's a right hand switchback, I would come in all the way to the left side of the road, try to cut as close as possible to the inside, the apex, and, and exit wide. You want to brake as late as possible but still carry as much speed as possible. You basically want to be accelerating out of every curve. You don't want to be having to sprint out of the corner. You want to scrub speed, but come in and exit with as much speed as possible. When you really do lay it all out on the line and you have your flow, then, then it is like walking a tightrope. And all those things, the braking, the shifting of the weight, the positioning, everything takes care of itself when you're 100% when you're mentally switched on.